Music Access. So, is there anyone who still is a picky eater? Do you only eat things that you want to and go hungry if you don't see anything you like at the table? We can also see people around us that are afraid to try any new foods that they've never tried before. But if we only ate foods that we wanted to eat, only listen to music that we wanted to listen to, or accept opinions that we agreed with, we would be living an extremely unbalanced life in both our health and souls. So in the end, living an unbalanced life would only bring harm to us, right? So what about making some effort for balance today? So our first song on Thursday, August 21st, was Maybe Tomorrow by the Stereophonics. So hello MA family members, yes it is my fourth day but I'm still quite nervous but not as nervous as I was when I first came in and it's obviously thanks to you guys so thank you so much for your love and support. So I'm sure there are some of you out there who can eat certain foods. We're all human so there gotta be things we like and dislike. But if you're avoiding something just because you never tried it before, that could be something we could work on right? Yeah. A small step towards a more balanced and healthier life, it doesn't have to just be with food, it could be with new experiences and things we've never tried before. Let's all try a little harder, shall we? Now it's time for me to introduce how today's music access will fly by. In the first hour, it's time to listen to your plans for the day or your goals for the week, year, etc. with Promise Aaron. But wait, we'll make it Promise Rome for the next two weeks, okay? You guys will have to make your promises and pinky swears with me. And of course, we have our All About Music Quiz, where you get to answer all sorts of different types of quizzes with popular songs as the answer. I hope you guys look forward to the hints that I'll be giving to you. And in the second hour, we'll talk about all our favorite stars with All That Star. Kihun will be joining us with all the news. For our to Thursday's corner, All That Star will be taking a look at the stars who seem ditzy, like Secret's Tona and M Black's Ijun. You guys have to let us know why you like Secret's Tona or M Black's Ijun. Also, let us know what you think is something that makes each star attractive, and remember to put like on the title of your message. And this Friday, we'll have a special guest spot with Guess Who. Well, I'm hosting MA, Music Access for the next two weeks. So, of course, my group had to come for support. Yes, C Clown will be coming into the studio for a special interview. So, if you have any questions for us, you can leave your messages with C Clown on the title and leave them up on our message board. The entire gang will be here on August 22nd in the second hour to answer all of your questions. Yes. So here's how you can listen to Music Access. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphones and listen on your computer at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. You can also listen to us through Terrestrial DMB or if you are on Jeju Island through these FM stations, Jeju is 88.7, Sogipo is 88.1, Daejeong is 101.9 and you can download, tune in through Google Play or the App Store. You all have been sending in some great song requests so keep them coming by posting up a message on our message board under the title request. Alright, so guys, we'll come back right after this song for message time and this song is Bang Bang by Jesse J and Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. Woo! And the song you just heard was Bang Bang by Jesse J and Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. Guys, I'm Rome of Sea Clown and I'm filling in for Aaron of New East on Music Access. Now, it's time for us to take a look at the messages that have come in from our beautiful listeners with Message Time. Let's take a look at the messages that came in today. Okay, first up, this one is from Manahel from Saudi Arabia. Are you okay? Hello? We Arab, Arab, sorry, love you so much. Are you interested in? 
Um, okay, so yeah, definitely. I can see where you're coming from. I'm interested in you guys, definitely. And seriously, if I get the chance, I would definitely love to go to Saudi Arabia, definitely. So please welcome us with open hearts when I go there, okay? Thank you. Next is from Wei Jing from Malaysia. Welcome, DJ Rome. First, thank you for replacing Aaron. <laughs> well, I'm only replacing him for two weeks, guys. I I just back from school and I'm listening to you. How about the feeling becoming a DJ? Is it very good? Well, I feel really, really good uh, being a DJ rather than replacing Aaron because I only know it's for two weeks. But the fact that I get to talk to you guys is what makes it better. So thank you so much for welcoming me. And this is from uh, Lee from Mexico with three L's. Hello, Rome. I'm a big fan of you and Sea Clown and hope seeing you soon in Mexico. This would make me so happy. Well, honestly, I think I'll be more happier seeing you in Mexico. So just call me. Call me anytime and I'll fly there. I'll even fly there after this show if I can. <laughs> but thank you. And the next one is Neta Benjamin from Israel. Oh my god, my lovely Rome. You are the DJ now. I'm so happy. I'll wake up early just to hear you. Love Nita from Israel. Try to remember when you were on Sound K. I sent you so many messages. And in fact, I was about to say that because I remember your name. It was quite familiar. And yes, I do remember you have sent in a lot of messages at that time. And you still are. So I'm so, so glad. Yay, yay. Please keep sending all your messages in. And thank you so much for everyone that sends their messages in. Although we didn't get to see all of them I'll be reading some more of them later in the show so do not worry now guys uh, let's listen to another song before we come back with more music access and that song is Catch a Grenade the Hooligans Remix by Bruno Mars do you have promises or goals that are difficult to keep or plans that you just keep pushing off for later what about letting music access DJ Rome filling in for Aaron know so I can keep you accountable? You can tell me about your plans for the day, your appointments or goals, or you can just promise me that you'll fix a bad habit or even raise your grades. Whether it's a big goal or small goal, it doesn't matter. Just promise Rome so I can help you keep your promise. All you need to do is think of your promises and write them down on our message board with Promise Rome in the title. DJ Rome will check up on how you're doing every day. How? With a pinky swear. Now guys, uh, let's listen to our first promise. Yes, I love these promises. And the first one is by Charmaine from Malaysia. And this person says, Hello Rome. I've been taking up dance lessons since last June as I'm really passionate in dancing. Wow. I was inspired by you to take up dance lessons as I've always wanted to be a good dancer like you someday. It was really tough in the beginning as everyone in my class are like fast learners. Like son like me. My body is really stiff. I know it's really crazy of me to take up four dance lessons in a week such as two hip hop classes, girl style and K-pop. I just want to excel fast when come to dancing just like everyone else. Sometimes I just feel like giving up because it was really tough in the beginning. I pinky swear with you that I'll be a good dancer just like you and never give up in dancing. Well, wow, this was actually quite an inspiring promise that you've sent in. And um, I can totally relate. Sometimes when I feel like dancing, because I'm as passionate as dancing as you, and um, sometimes I just don't feel like dancing. But um, a good way for that is... When you don't feel like dancing sometimes and you can't get inspired, uh, I recommend just not dancing at all and just try doing something else. Yes, put your mind on something else and eventually, naturally, you just, I don't know, people that love dancing, they just go back to dancing anyway. So yeah, that, that was my solution for you and I'm really happy to hear that. So thank you. So cross your hearts right now and pick a swear. You have to keep your promise, okay? Let's listen to a song before we come back with more promises. And that song is Happy by Pharrell Williams. And this was actually requested by El Gantini from the UAE. Okay, so uh, you were just listening to Happy by Pharrell Williams. Of course, requested by El Gantini from the UAE. Now, plans and goals that are just too hard to keep on your own? Let me know on Promise Rome. I'll help you keep that promise 
cross your hearts today and pinky swear with me on Promise Room. So guys, here's our next promise and this was sent in to us from Jennifer from the US. My promise is to be a person that brings happiness and positive energy to the people around me. I have family and friends who have brought happiness to me when I was down and inspired me to do my best. I would like to be that inspiration and motivation for others. I'm making that promise to you and me today. Well, Jennifer, um, first of all, the fact that you want to be a motivation and inspiration to others is itself a motivation and inspiration because I remember when I was young, um, I definitely wanted to have the same motivation as you. and. I didn't know that, but once I started dancing or doing the stuff that I wanted to be, being myself, uh, that naturally inspired and motivated everyone around me. I think it was because of the passion I had. So definitely. So you know what to do. Cross your hearts and let's promise, okay? You have to keep that promise with me, all right? So guys, here's our next promise. and. So definitely. So you know what to do. Cross your hearts and let's promise, okay? You have to keep that promise with me, all right? So guys, here's our next promise. And week. Please let me know. You can leave your messages on Promise Rome and I'll help you keep those promises. All you need to do is come visit us at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave me a message on our message board with the title Promise Rome. Alright guys, we'll come back right after a song for all about music quiz and the next song is Chandelier by Sia and this was requested by Roa from Saudi Arabia. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. <laughs> A quiz that progresses, receives, praise, but a quiz that is always the same gets ignored. All About Music Quiz is, to say the least, the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. Get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. We even have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Pixie Lot's album, Pixie Lot, provided to us by Universal Music. So, for our first AA Music Quiz, the format for today is guessing the person. I'm going to tell you the title of three songs. The songs have one thing in common, it's a person. You just need to guess who that person is. So, here are the song titles. Number one, Bubble Pop. Number two, Troublemaker featuring Hyunsung of Beast. Number three, Baigeo Red. Now you need to hear that one more time. Okay, but this time I'll try it a bit differently. Maybe even sing it a little. Number one, Bubble 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 Pop. Number two, Troublemaker <whistles> Number 3 Bargeo Red Now if you know the person, write answer on your title and send us your message with the correct answer. We'll listen to a song and come back with a second hint for AA Music Quiz. And of course, our next song is Michigesso by Teen Top, which was sent in by Daniela from Australia. A collaboration between music and quizzes, it's all about music quiz. Today's AA music quiz format had to do with guessing the person. Well, here's a second hint. We'll let you listen to this person's singing a solo part for 5 seconds. You just need to guess who sang this part. You probably know as soon as you hear it though. 
So here it goes. Listen carefully. This is your last chance to get the answer correctly. Hit it. Oh. Hot tag here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, ramen. Yeah. Oh, I think she said it. I think she said it. Okay, okay. So, uh, that was your hint. And I think, I don't know if that hint was just too easy, but I'm sure you know what this song is. And if you know the person, write answer on our title oh, sorry on your title and send us a message with the correct answer now if you think you know the answer of course you have to come to the music access message board at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer our aa music quiz present is pixie lot's album pixie lot provided to us by universal music now, uh, before we move on, I think it's time to listen to another song. And this song was actually sent in by Rosa from Peru, and it is Touch My Body by Sister. You were just listening to Touch My Body by Sister, requested by Rosa from Peru. Thank you, thank you. Now, guys, it's time for us to chat comfortably. Yes. Let's see what messages have come in for me on message time. Woo! Yes, this is actually quite my favorite time. I will be honest. This is my favorite time. And uh, the first message is sent in from uh, US by Rosa. Hi, hola. I'm from Peru, but live in San Francisco, California. Oh my God. Sea clowns have a lot of fans in South America. Can you say something in Spanish? Can you say hi to me, Rosa Espada from Peru? I like the song solo. Gracias. Thank you. Um... Definitely, es ha, Rosa, it's me Rosa Espada from Peru. Is that how you say hi, or is that was that your name? But um, <laughs> definitely, I'll try learning Spanish more, and I'll come on the show next time, and I'll definitely try speaking Spanish to all of you guys out there. Okay, so thank you, Rosa from US. Next one is Kimberly, who's also from the US. Hey, Rome, I'm actually a huge fan of Aaron. Oh, that's good. That's good. But I got really excited when I found out you were going to DJ for the next two weeks. Please keep it a secret from him. Ha ha ha, joke. <laughs> By the way, I can't wait for Sea Clown on Friday and also for your comeback soon. I cannot wait to see you all again. Well, Kimberly, your secret is safe with me, but I'll be telling Aaron. <laughs> now, don't worry. But seriously, thank you so much for your support. And yes, you should look forward to Friday because Sea Clown will be in the studio and you do not want to miss that out. So thank you, Kimberly. Next message is uh, Melis from Turkey. Hello, Rome. Do you remember me? I'm Melis from Turkey. You replied my questions last year on Sound K and I was 13 and you were shocked. I can't forget it now. I'm 14 and I'm growing up with you guys. Haha, <laughs> fighting Sea Clown, I love you so much. I made mistakes on my message because I'm really excited. And it is really early in Turkey for me. I can't think. Well, sorry. Well, thank you so much, Melis. And yes, of course I remember you from Sound K. Who can forget you? And 13, and you're 14 now? Well, uh, I'm sorry if I missed out your birthday, but happy birthday on your 14th. So congratulations and thank you, Melis from Turkey. And uh, the lucky last before we go into our song break is from... Ikwa Ika from Singapore. That's a very interesting name. Uh, this is my first time doing this message. So, hi Rome. I'm a crown and you are my bias. I really hope that you guys can come to Singapore and have a small event at the Causeway Point. Rome, I love you. Stay handsome as always. Well, thank you so much, Ikwa Ika from Singapore. And I definitely would love to go to that event. So, I'll remember their name. It's called Causeway Point, am I right? So what? Uh, definitely. Ah, oh, wow. I really love to go to Singapore right now. But um, before we go into anything more, we'll go into a song break. And this song is "Dad, You There" by JYJ, and this was requested by Sidika from Turkey. Yes, and we are back, and you were just listening to two songs. The first song was uh, Dad, You There by JYJ, which was requested by Sidika from Turkey. And the second song was Hush by Brown Eyed Girls. Now, guys, it's uh, already time to wrap up for the first hour. Doo! 
it's nearing the end. I can't be. But in the second era, Park Ki Hoon will be joining us for All That Star. Uh, guys, uh, before that, here's our last song for the first hour, and it is Let It Go by Demi Lovato. And this was requested by Anisha from Indonesia. And guys, I'll be back very soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> Music Access. Welcome, welcome to the second hour of the Thursday edition of Music Access. I'm Aaron of C Clown, a guy that takes chances, and of course, filling in for Aaron of New East here on Music Access. In the second hour of Thursdays, we are to talk about all our favorite stars with all that star. Kion will be joining us with all the news, yes. And we'll be taking a look at the stars who seem ditzy like Secret Sona and M Black E Jun. You guys have to let us know why you like Secret Sona or why you like M Black E Jun. Let us know what you think and is something that makes each star attractive. Remember to put like on the title of your messages. Now uh, here's how you can write into me. Just click www. Arirangradio.com slash music access and leave me a message on your music access message board. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphone or listen on your computers at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. And we're also on terrestrial DMB and we've got FM stations on Jejudo Island. It's 88.7 in Jeju and 88.1 in Sogipo, 101.9 in Tejong. And you can download, tune in through Google Play or the App Store. Okay, so um, before we get into this, we'll listen to a song, and before we, and when we come back, we'll be with Kihun on All That Star. And of course, the first song to start the second part is "Solo Day" by B1A4. Are you sitting in front of the computer? Typing the name of your favorite star in the search box. If you are, stop right now and turn up the volume. There's no need to search anymore. Everything that you ever wanted to know about your favorite star will be right here on Thursdays with me. Finding out about your favorite celebrities with Kiyun on All oh, That, that star. star. Nice, nice. Well, uh, hello, Kiyun. Hello, Ro. <laughs> Whoa, man! I'm so glad to have you here in the studio today. Me too. I was actually surprised. Yeah, like, it's yeah. first time meeting each other, but we're actually from the same country. Yeah, same place. Even. Same yeah, place same, actually yeah. as well. Oh, and we have like similar friends as well. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm still kind of, uh, I'm still kind of shocked. <laughs> Me too. Because um, I've never met anyone like I guess close, like in like as close as this, um, outside of uh, Australia, especially in Korea, but. Wow, no, it's it's seriously nice it's, to meet you. Yeah, seriously, nice. nice to meet you. Um, g'day, mate. <laughs> g'day, mate. G'day, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I recognize you by your accent, so I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, like there's a there's reason why I guess you're in this studio, and more mm -hmm. than our music other uh, access guests, it's because we're from the same country. Um, so uh, I'm just I'm just curious. Like, you said you're from Sydney, right? But yes. And you asked me before the uh this kicked off uh, where I was from. So mm -hmm. I said I used to live in uh. Stratfield, lead come around that area. So were you like around the same area? Or? I was at Eastwood. Oh, Eastwood! What? <laughs> what? Eastwood and Epping. What? I was around Epping for about five years. Whoa! I used, like, to, I used to hang around Stratfield a lot. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure all of the all of you who's listening from Sydney, oh my God. you know where Stratfield is. <laughs> yeah, it's where all oh, the Koreans live. Yeah, the 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 K town. The K town. Oh, Sydney. Oh, yes. But Eastwood is a bit like that too, eh? Oh, very similar. Yeah. Very oh, similar. Oh, oh, well, that's that's so <laughs> weird. Cause I used to get off at the uh, the bus stop at Eastwood. You know, oh. you know where you know where everyone gets off at yeah, the bus yeah, yeah. after school. Yeah, but wow, man, that how did I not? This feels weird. Yeah, is this... meeting someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is weird. <laughs> but the funny thing is, we didn't know each other. Yeah, back yeah. In Sydney. Exactly. What? How is that possible? I know Sydney is like a fairly small place. It is, but like, but I know... we have similar friends. Yeah, like... so that's weird. Like we have similar friends, but like we just. <laughs> Whoa! Oh man! Okay. But, but anyways, okay. oh, anyway, yeah. yeah. So uh, you started something new these days, eh? Hey? Uh, yes, like, I did, and it finished straight away. It finished last Sunday. Are you serious? Yes. What, it was, what a, was that, it was man? a short play, like, a short at play. a pl theater theater play. Oh! And it started from Friday actually, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was yeah. a short short play, and 
it finished pretty well. Oh wow! So you're you're in like a like a musical kind of thing, like a, oh, like not really musical, but more of a play. A more just a play, yeah, like yeah. an acting play. Yes. Oh, uh, do, uh, can I find out the name? Or like, so it's I might go. called <laughs> um, Miss Kim Tai died. Oh, Miss Kim died. Yeah. Oh, Miss Kim. <laughs> oh, Miss Kim. Kim. <laughs> Miss Kim died. Kim. Oh wow! Okay, mm. is that it? Sound it sounds pretty dramatic. Oh, uh, it's actually like a satirical comedy play. Oh, oh really? Yeah, it's about like a work colleague suddenly passing away. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. each of her office colleagues, you know, have their own fantasy of her. Yeah, Miss yeah, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Kim. Oh, oh. But nobody knows who she is. Oh, you see. The it. audience doesn't know. Is, is it nineteen plus? No, 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 no. no. Okay. It's <laughs> just a comedy, so oh, it's like yeah. about making coming up with rumors. Oh, sick. And just nice. It's trying to show like today's society. You know where people come up with, you know, yeah, yeah. random rumors with no facts, truth yeah, facts. Yeah, and yeah. No, in definitely. the end, it becomes truth. Oh, the really? Truth. In the end, it comes the truth. Oh, yeah, so. and yeah. Dude, that's pretty. It's satirical comedy. It was yeah. pretty fun. That, that, like the last time I heard about satirical comedy was probably uh, when I was preparing for the HSC. Oh, <laughs> English, yes. English extension. Oh. HSC is like. Oh, like SAT? No, yeah, no, no. yeah, SAT. Yeah, the yeah, SAT. In, in yeah. like the States. Um, mm-hmm. The big thing that everyone, I guess, studies. E12. Like, yeah, yes. studies for, try to get into uni and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's 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 just... Oh, that we God. have so many things in common. Yeah, we're going to be talking more after yes. this show. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, um, but seriously, okay. Um, but anyway, it's time for us to start our corner, All That Star Now. And the first part is called Star and Star. Every week, we're going to pick two stars that have something in common and get all the details on their subtle differences and similarities. We already told our listeners about this week's two stars, but Kiran, can you tell us more in detail about the two stars that we picked today? Yeah, sure. This week's stars on Star and Star Corner that I picked are yeah. two idols who are very innocent, thus oh. a little whimsy, oh, whimsy, but altogether possess ingenious Beauty. Wow, wow. Yes, for the first time, I have picked a boy and a girl idol as our stars. Nice. It's two stars who we all can't hate for their ingenious beauty. Nice. It's Secrets Sonoa and M Black's Ijun. Woo! Do you actually know any of them? Um, uh, not in person, but I've seen um, uh, Secrets Sonoa like in music uh, programs. Yeah, music programs. Uh-huh. Cause she, I think, cause like they made a comeback recently. Yeah. And, yes, um, yes. Uh, we finished our mukbang like our, our last promotion yeah. stage. Uh, I think it was. The day before yesterday, and that's when I saw it. And yeah, oh. so wow, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not close, but I was close. You've seen it in real life, <laughs> in physical, which appearance. is better than me. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, that that's uh, that's pretty much oh, it. Okay. So cool. okay, cool. So for our listeners out there, come to our message board and write down why you like Secret Sona or M Black's Ijun on our message board. And guys, don't forget to put like on the title of your message. We'll take a look at those reasons in just a bit. <laughs> In the meantime, Kirun, can you tell us more about today's star? Yes, let's start with Han Sonoa's profile. Shall we go? Yes, we go. <laughs> Name Han Sonoa. She was born on the 6th of October 1990. Same oh, age as are us. Are you serious? Yes. Same age as us. Whoa. Yeah. Chingu. Anyway, Chingu. <laughs> she is 165 centimeters tall and weighs 46 kilograms. Whoa. She is a member of the group Secret and under the management company TS Entertainment yes. that has the likes of BAP yeah, and yeah. Untouchable. Untouchable. She initially debuted in 2006 through an audition program called Superstar Survival Superstar. that SBS, the yeah. broadcasting station, and JYP teamed up together to find the next big rising star. Wow, wow, this program wow. helped Hans Honor become a member of Secret later on as they debuted in 2009 with their album I Want You Back. Han Sona really made a name for herself as she appeared in a variety program called Kang Jang in 2012 where she showed her ingenious beauty with the direct and truthful words that were slightly off the top at times but very lovable. Mm. From then on, it was only uphill for her as she appeared in famous reality program We Got Married and made a bigger issue through the success of a diet as the before and after diet photos were posted on the internet. She is now receiving the spotlight of an actress as she took on the lead role for the first time in a drama. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, gosh. Impressive. Yeah, that impressive is, profile. That is, that is impressive. Like, much more impressive than what I can say for Us myself. Us put together. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, wow. Um, wow, like, I've, I've you know, because I saw her in person, uh, mm. like, a couple of days ago. And, um... How is she? Yes, like, she seemed re- like she's pretty. Okay. She's pretty. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, no, but yeah, more than that, she seemed really nice. Like, nice. Uh, yeah, like, um, because you know, in in uh, I guess the uh, 
what you call the broadcasting stations, yeah. especially uh, you know in the idol world. There's like the Sombenim and the yes, the older colleague, yeah, colleague, and the yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, she was because uh, you know she's like Sombenim to me, I guess. Um, because she debuted in two thousand and six. Yeah, that was yeah, so <laughs> eight years ago, <laughs> eight years ago, yes. and um. But yeah, like usually, you know, they would be, they can, like, they're really stiff, you know what I mean? Like, really mm, yeah, I understand. A bit hard. I know now, what you mean. <laughs> because of that, some bending for yes. But no, she was really uh, welcoming. Like, oh. yeah, she actually, like, came over and said, like, hi to us. And she's uh, easygoing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Friendly. Very chill. And cool. definitely like that part about her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know. Like, can, I'll, you, can I'll, you tell her, can you tell that she's a bit. Uh, silly, oh, a bit naive. Can you can you sort I, of tell? Yeah, I I mean the things that I see like on um the variety shows mm. that she goes on, uh, I think yeah that kind of like highlights what she's probably like in real life, right? Uh, it, you know what I mean? Yes, um, I agree. I, like I didn't see like triple four when she, <laughs> yeah, when she was at the uh, broadcast oh, station, okay. but still you know I'm I'm guessing she might be like that. Mm. Like, do you like those kind of girls? Like they're a bit like clumsy. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> I don't like girls who. Are who look perfect, you know. All right. Act perfect. Act perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's got to be something, you know, missing about them. Yeah, the, something that you can feel. <laughs> the the flaws, yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no, definitely. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. So that was that was awesome. Thank you for that profile. Um, Can you tell us about our next star? Okay, shall we go? Yes. Name, Ijun. Real name, Lee chang Son. He was born on the 7th of February, 1988. He is once wow. 80 centimeters tall and weighs 63 kilograms. He's a member of the M Black and under the management company J-Tune Entertainment yes. that was initially set up by Rain yes, in that's 2007. Right. That's right, that's right. Ijun debuted through M Black's single album, Just Black, in 2009. Again, just like Han Sona, Ijun made Re- really made a name for himself through the variety program Kang Jang. Mm. As, sh- as he showed the viewers his charisma and dancing skills as he used to be a ballet dancer. Yeah. Re- yes, yeah. apparently. But what made the real headlines was his clumsiness, immaturity and unexpected reactions that made everyone laugh their heads off. <gasps> wow. Just through one variety program, a star's luck can suddenly change as Ijun's career only went uphill from his appearance in Kang Jang. From We Got Married to many other variety programs, Lee Jun soon became a Yenung Dol, meaning an entertaining idol. Right, right. But what really shocked the viewers was neither his as a singer nor a funny entertainer, but as an actor. As he first as his first lead role movie, Rough Play, that was released last year, received many positive appraisals. Also, the role he played in the drama Kap Dongi put Lee Jun on the stardom as everyone acknowledges his great acting skills. And calls him the actor Yiju. Wow! Well, uh, man, like I, I remember, like I've not um, I don't know Yiju in person mm-hmm. as well, but I've I've seen him like in uh, the broadcasting stations. Yeah. Uh, I guess like last year, I think it was last year. Um, but um, yeah, I've seen him like dance a lot, like especially in Kang Shimjang. That, yeah. that's like, where he was like his pole dance. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's I'm, a bit unique. Yeah, it's <laughs> unique. Like I was like, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers that episode. And I was like, wow, you know, this guy's got a lot of confidence, a lot of yeah, talent, a lot of confidence, as well. He's a lot very of talent. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, no, the one thing I've always uh, admired about uh, this guy is um, he was really, really good at dancing. Like oh, he really? knew, yeah, he knew what he wanted to uh, express, and um, that's one thing that I realized about. Um, in Black Sea June. And, um, yeah, and he, definitely. And he used to be a ballet dancer. Exactly. So, yeah, there we go. He's really. Very flexible. <laughs> very, very flexible. Very flexible. Very flexible and smooth. And um, his personality as well. He seems very. Clump, like, bit, yeah. yeah. Easy going, cool, down to earth. Right, right, right. I mean, I mean, he does ballet as well. So, definitely. But definitely. his acting is amazing. Amazing. You, have you actually seen Yes, I have. I have actually seen it. And, like, because like, he's one of the. um, Like, that role that he played. Mm. That uh, I think it was the recent one, like where he played one of the um, psychopath. Yeah, the psychopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, you know, this guy's. Sh- it's not easy to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So no, he, he's really like up in his game. So definitely, it's an wow. all rounder, everyone. All, all rounder. rounder, all rounder. Yes, definitely popular with the ladies. Mm-hmm. Definitely, very. But, but totally understand. So, uh, <laughs> oh well, thank you so much. And that was Star and Star. So today's stars are, of course, Secret Sona and M Black's Ijun. But before we get in, we let's listen to a song and uh, move on. After this, the next song is uh, "I'm in Love" by Secret. 
Yes, and we're back, and that song was I'm In Love by Secret. Okay, guys, I'm Rome of Sea Clown, and I'm filling in for Aaron of New East here on Music Access. And guys, you're listening to our Thursday Corner. All that star with, yes, the amazing Kiyun. <laughs> yeah, amazing. the amazing, the amazing. And uh, today's stars are Secret Sona and M. Black's Ijun. Kino, are you prepared uh, to show us some, some more details on the similarities and differences? Of course I am. Yes, right. oh, oh, nice. First is a similarity. Okay. It's that both Hansona and Ijun don't deny the fact that they possess being ingenious <gasps> and slightly gullible. Okay, gullible. They are rather confident and genuine when it comes to showing their charm, which in turn made being in, 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 ingenuous, sorry, ingenuous. Oh, no. and naive being a charming point. Nice. Amazing. Nice. A few years ago, they appeared in a variety show called Happy Together oh. in Ingenious Beauty special episode where Eugene told the viewers that Han Sona is much more of a fool than himself. I'm not <laughs> sure if I really agreed yeah. with him. But anyway, right. there are famous episodes and incidents that shows both Han Sona and Eugene being very naive and silly. Yeah. One episode is when Han Sona was asked if she knew what a piranha was. <laughs> and she answered straight away, isn't she a Hollywood star? <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I won't go on with that. Anyway, okay. also when Eugen was asked whether he knew the Roman Empire, Nero Emperor, yeah. and which country he was a king of, he answered with full dignity and without hesitation, somewhere overseas. <laughs> All right, oh, it could be true. That's yeah, true. It's true. It's true. It's <laughs> true. Somewhere overseas. Oh wow! Well, okay. And when the same question was asked to Hansona, she avoided answering by saying. What's the point of answering such an obvious question? <laughs> very smart, or very should smart. I say very... Ingenious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very ingenious. Very ingenious. And, and before we move on, I've got a question for you. Yeah, yeah, go if ahead, man. If you were on a variety show, yeah, yeah. if yeah. you appeared in one, and yep. the MC right, right. asked you a question that you have no idea to, oh. how would you sort of, you know, go I around, around it, like, about <laughs> it? Dude, I think I'll start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly? Oh yeah, just randomly. I'll, I'll, I'll just dance. Yeah, I'll start doing the Harlem Shake. No. Ah, the Harlem Shake. <laughs> no, no. Uh, but no, um, honestly, uh, if, if that ever came to me, uh, yeah, like, uh, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I don't know, I, I think I wouldn't be as like, like, I guess, upfront about that kind of mm. stuff. If I didn't know the question, uh, yeah, I would just be like, just I'll be honest. Yeah, I'll be honest and I'll be like, I'll oh. toss it to my members. <laughs> pardon me, pardon yeah, me. <laughs> pardon me, so, sorry. Uh, have yeah. you been in, have you appeared in many variety shows? Uh, yeah, I've been in uh, a few, but I can't name some of the top, like my members been in oh, quite okay. a few. I'm more of the, uh, the, the member that kind of does the emceeing and oh. the, the um, yeah, like the radios. Um, and uh, I've been in one variety show, it's called uh, D-Style. D-Style. Yeah, it's like, a, it's one day uh, put on, where it's like these, you have like these dance battles. Oh, um, okay. But it's not a really dance battle. It was like something that all the idols came together and they like showed dance performances. Mm. And yeah, but it was it was really fun. And luckily, you didn't ask too many questions <laughs> on that show. So I was just dancing my just way. Just dance yeah. moves. Yeah. All right, cool. Moving right along. Secondly, is also their similarity. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, they are both acknowledged acting idols. Nice. Many idols are trying out acting these days, but... Only a few get mentioned and complimented. Right, right. Out of the few, Eugene and Hanson are always mentioned and praised for their rediscovery of talents. Right. The similarity is that unlike different idols, they both act out shocking and unexpected roles. Eugene mm. gave the goosebumps to the viewers through his psychopath role in the recent drama Kapdongi. Whereas oh. Sona did a good job in acting out a gold digger role <laughs> in Shin Sonbul 14 Days. Wow. Both receiving praises from critics and viewers. Nice. Eugen showed his enthusiasm for acting as he initially debuted through the movie screen as he appeared in the Hollywood movie Ninja Assassin. Have you have you seen the movie? Yeah, I have, man. That that body was uh, Yes, <laughs> as cool. he played Rain's childhood character. Yeah. He received praises from viewers as they commented that commented that if idols can act like Eugen, we will support singers trying out acting. Right. So he is pretty much the benchmark. Yeah, oh, yeah. He even received <laughs> praises from fellow actors as they picked Eugen's acting as the best scene in the drama. Wow, wow. Okay. Sona also showed her passion for acting as she confessed that she wanted to act and is practicing every day in a variety mm. show she appeared in. She did a great job in her first side role character as a gold digger, gold digger. which in turn helped her earn the main role in the new drama Marriage over relationship. Right, right, right. Congratulations. Definitely. Well, that's a pretty big thing. I got another question for you, right? Yeah, oh, definitely, man. Just I just have to ask it. It yeah. was it was written yeah, here. Anyway, really. <laughs> you've seen. Have you seen many 
of your fellow idols yeah. appear in dr- dramas? Um, yeah, yeah, I have quite actually. I've uh, quite a few I know that as well that um have like roles in dramas and stuff. Um, how did it feel this like, like watching them like, on it's, TV it's, acting? I was like, especially with some of them I know. I'm like, what that guy could do that? Oh. <laughs> I was like, wow, he can he can act like that. Oh, but then he's surprised. He's surprised. Yeah, yeah surprised. But some are like, you know, he's got to stop. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> he's got to stop, stop doing that. No, he's got to stop. He's scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, um, do you have any thoughts of acting as well? Um, okay, I'll be like, honest. honest like, yeah, like I'll be honest. Um, like I'm more, I'm more of a, a guy into music. I mean, oh, okay. it doesn't mean like I don't like acting, but mm. I've tried acting because. Okay, I shouldn't say this. I know this. Everyone's gonna like look it up now, but I'll just say it. You know, who cares? Um, I actually I tried acting in um, like as main like uh, what do you call it? The uh, the role of a male in uh, one of the music videos for a oh, singer and uh, music video. Yeah, it was like it was like a very typical love story, oh, okay. and I won't I won't say the title of that because <laughs> I knew you guys are gonna everyone's gonna search it up yeah, now. Like Rome is acting, and then you had to cry in that, you know, and um. Oh. Like it was like, it but was you didn't say like, anything. There was no lines. No, just, no. just acting. I, there was lines, but they took it out because. <laughs> <laughs> I, it so I understand. Bad. Okay, oh, I think I know why. Yeah, but you, maybe you could teach me, man. You could teach me later. Oh, I'm not a good actor either. Uh, no, I think you'll be better than I'm me. I'm working. I'm just working towards it. Oh, sweet, sweet. And if you last question. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. If you did start acting, all right, yeah. What kind of role would you play? Uh, do you uh, want to play? Do I want to play? Uh, mm. I'll play the dancer where he doesn't the say dancer. anything. <laughs> he just does that. No, um, probably uh, you know, like like any other. There's a villain, right? But mm. he turns out good. Oh, okay. yeah. So that kind of uh character. Isn't there a movie where they just they just dance? Oh, oh what yeah, was that yeah. movie? Oh, the the movie where they just dance. Yeah. Oh, um, you talking about Step Up or Step, step up. up? Yeah, definitely. Oh, like there's those a new kind of version movies. that's coming out. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be sure to watch that. (laughs) Definitely. Okay. Well, so uh, thank you so much. And that was the uh, similarities and differences. Mm -hmm. And I could definitely see the similarities and differences. Thank you. I I feel like I somehow have like a, I have like kind of the same similarities with them as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I sometimes feel that too. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was just me. I was listening to... Which which part? Um, Probably M. Black Edron's. Uh, acting skills. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'll you joking. Don't hate on me, guys. Everyone, search up the <laughs> music no, <I> video. <laughs> Rome's <laughs> music video. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, guys, that was Star and Star and uh, today's stars were Secret Sona and M Black's Ijun. And before we go anywhere else, let's listen to a song and move on to part three after the song K-pop Star Interview. But for now, the next song is Damjadake by M Black. Part 3 K-pop Star Interview K-pop Star Interview is all about getting all the details from our K-pop stars interviews with reporters for TV shows or magazines. So basically it's like getting the inside scoop on these stars here on Music Access. So who will be getting the inside scoop on K-pop Star Interview today? Okay, this week's K-pop interview is yeah. on Nam Taeyeon from the ma- the group Winner. Winner, yes. The winner, yes. winner. Yes, he's friends with uh, um, my members. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, high school cool. friends. Cool. Yeah. As he received attention for looking like the figure skating queen Kim Yana. <laughs> oh, wait. <you> don't <laughs> he said, it's amazing that our nostrils look alike. <laughs> Their nostrils look alike. <laughs> okay. Similarities. That's the first thing I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Nam Taeyeon participated in the 2014 SS launching show on August 6th. And uh-huh. after received the question about whether he knew about people saying he looked like Kim Yona. Right. Uh, he said he saw it online and smiled. He said, wow. people, because people kept looking, I kept saying I look like her, yes. I looked at some pictures of her. Right. And people said our nostrils look alike. <laughs> so I looked at it and it was amazing at the similarity, <laughs> resemblance. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Winner is a new boy group since yep. Big Bang from YG Entertainment. YG, yep. They were chosen from the reality program Win, who is next? They released their new album on August 12th and the members participated in the song producing part of all their songs. Oh. They, also res- they also participated in the YG family concert on August 15th. Yes, yes. So, wow. wow. Everyone look it up. Yeah. Nam Taeyeon's nostrils. <laughs> Nam Taeyeon's nostrils. It looks like Kim Hyun Ha, so. Uh, apparently, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Yeah. I, never, I never realized that until you said that, that he looked like, <laughs> um, um, yeah. Kim Yona. Wow, yeah. but that's so true. I, I think that's why a lot of um, he has a lot of fans. The girls really like that kind yes. of face, right? 
Yeah, and he's and he's the, really the small eyes. Yeah, small eyes. Yeah. The, and he's um, and he's good mates with uh, my members. Oh, so okay. yeah, because they went to the same high school. Oh. But wow, well, uh, seriously, thank you so much for bringing us that K-pop star interview. No worries. And guys, it's almost time for us to wrap oh, up things. Already, yeah. already. <laughs> well, before you go, you know, we'll let you uh, let. Will you let us in on who our star and star will be for our next okay, week? Okay, next week's stars on star and star up. Big Bang's Taeyang wow. and Shiny's Timmy. Wow, this should be interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow. So everyone, you can start sending in your reasons with like on your message title, telling us why you like like Big Bang's Taeyang or why you like Shiny's Timmy. Okay, okie dokie. So, uh, how was it like hosting this corner with me today and not Aaron? Actually, it was a bit better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't say this. Did you hear no, that, no. Aaron? <laughs> everyone, I'm just joking to all the MA family. No, because no, no. I never knew Rome was from Sydney yeah, yeah. until like today when I met him for yeah, the first time. Definitely. And we lived in similar places and yeah, dude. it just feels like being at home. Yeah, meeting, definitely. Meeting an old friend, definitely. high school mate. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, it feels like that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Australian. Small Australian. world, guys. Small, small world. world. Small world. Oh, well, that's uh, really good to hear, man. Um, I'll be here next week as well, so yes. uh, don't worry. Looking forward yeah, to looking it. Looking forward to it. Awesome. 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 And uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank okay. you. We'll see you guys next week. And thank you. And please keep sending Kiyun out. Here's a song. And the song for our final finale is uh wait what is this song okay sorry it's um lay me down by pixie lot thanks guys bye bye boy boy yes and we're back and you were just listening to lay me down by pixie lot guys i'm rome of c clown and i'm filling in for aaron as dj here on music axis while he's away but it's now time to reveal the answer for a a music quiz from the first hour so what was the answer it is Hyuna. A lot of people sent us the right answer and we'll be announcing after the show. So we'll post it up on our message board after the show. And if you see your name there, send us an email at musicaxis at arirang. after the show and if you see your name there send us an email at musicaxis at arirang I'm proud. P.S. I don't know if you remember me, but date me, please. Kimberly, please come to Arirang Radio so I can take you on a date, alright? Because there's really nice places around here. But no, seriously, thank you so much. Next one is uh, Daniela Go from Singapore. Bam! My heart skipped a beat when you said Daniela earlier. <laughs> it's not my name, but my name is Danielle. Okay, Daniel. Okay, never mind. Cheap thrill. Hello, high waves and drop back to my floor. Okay, well, thank you. You kind of, uh, you got me there. I thought you, <laughs> I thought you really were, your heart really did skip a beat. But um, seriously, thank you so much, Daniel. And I definitely would love to go to Singapore if I get the chance. So thank you. Next message is Karen Tio from Singapore. Hi, Rome. I'm Karen Tio from Singapore. How are you today? I'm so happy to hear from you as a relief DJ for Aaron for these two weeks. Do you still remember me? I still remember that you had been a relief DJ for DJ Sean on Sound K. Take care and have a nice day. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I have like this, um, I think I have this uh, thing for relief DJs. <laughs> I keep coming into Arirang Radio for relief DJs, but definitely it's so worth it because I get to talk to you guys. So I want to thank Arirang personally. And yes, thank you, Karen here from Singapore. Next is uh, Eddie from Israel. I remember this name because I think I pronounced it Etai before. Am I right? But this person says, Hi, my name is uh, Eddie. I am a crown from Israel. You guys have a lot of fans here. I sent you a package with a lot of gifts. Did you receive my package? My name, my full name is Eteri Dominicu. Well, definitely. I think I pronounced that right as well. And yes, your package of gifts, of a lot of gifts, uh, our company actually did receive it. And I just wanted to say 
Thank you so much for it. Um, honestly, it's just been so great receiving all these gifts from you guys. And, of course, it's only better. It only gets better because I get to talk to you guys out there. So thank you so, so, so much. Now, it's uh, time to get into uh, two new, more new songs. And um, the first song is Numuri Chururuk by Sundambi. And this was requested in by Han from Malaysia. And the second song that you'll listen to is Sarang Omnen Sarang by New East. And this was requested by Monica from Indonesia. Enjoy. Yes, and you were just listening to two songs. One was Numuri Chururuk by Sondambi, and that was requested by Han from Malaysia. Second song was Sarang Omnen Sarang by New West, which was requested by Monica from Indonesia. And guys, it's already time to say goodbye. Oh, I feel so sad. But guys, it was my fourth time. What did you think? And I think I feel a little better. I feel like I'm more at home. Um, and seriously, guys, keep sending your love in because I absolutely love it. And uh, yes, I don't want to say goodbye, but I have to. You know how it is. I love you, guys. So I'm going to leave you with our last song for today. And this song is Hold On, We're Going Home by Drake. Music access with me, Roman C. Clown, will be on tomorrow at the same time, same place. So see you tomorrow.